One day, Samson went to the Philistine town of Arza and spent the night with him. Word soon spread that Samson was there, so the men of Garza gathered together and waited all night at the town gates. They kept quiet during the night, saying to themselves, When the light of morning comes, we will kill him. But Samson stayed in bed only until midnight. Then he got up, took hold of the doors of the town gate, including the two posts, and lifted them up, bar and all. And Samson put, put both the pillars and the bars on his shoulders and carry them all the way to the top of the hill across from Hebron. Sometime later, Samson fell in love with a woman named Delilah, who lived in the valley of Sorek. The rulers of the Philistines went to her and said, Entice Samson to tell you what makes him so strong and how he can be overpowered and tied up securely. Then each of us will give you 1,100 pieces of silver. So Delilah agreed. And Delilah said to Samson, Please tell me what makes you so strong. And what would it take to tie you up securely? If I was tied up with seven new bow strings that have not yet been dry, I would become as weak as anyone else. So the Philistine rulers bought Delilah seven new bow strings so she could tie Samson up with them. So Delilah had hit some men in one of the inner rooms of her house and she cried out. Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. But Samson snapped the bow strings as a piece of string snap when it is burned by fire. So the secret of his strength was not discovered. Delilah said to Samson, You've been making fun of me and telling me lies. Now, please tell me, how can you be tied up securely? If I was tied up with brand new ropes that had never been used, I would become as weak as anyone else. Delilah used a rope to tie him up again while the men were hiding in the inner room as before. And again, Delilah cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. But again, Samson snapped the rope from his arms as if they were thread. Then Delilah said, You've been making fun of me and telling me lies. Now tell me, how can we be how can you be tied up securely? If you were to weave the seven braids of my hair into the fabric 
on your loom and tighten it with the loom shuttle, I will become as quick as anyone else. So while Sam Samson slept, Delilah wove the seven braids of his hair into the fabric. Then she tightened it with the loom shuttle. Again she cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. But Samson woke up, pulled back the loom shuttle, and yanked his hair away from the loom and the fabric. Then Delilah pouted. How can you tell me I love you when you don't share your secrets with me? You've made fun of me three times now, and you still haven't told me what makes you so strong. She tormented with tormented Samson with her nagging day after day until he was sick to death of it. Finally, Simon shared his secret with her. My heart has never been cut. He confessed I was dedicated to God and Nazareth from birth. My head would slate shave. My strength would leave me and I would come as weak as anyone else. Delilah realized Samson had finally told her the truth. So she sent for the Philistine rulers. Come back one more time, she said, for he has finally told me his secret. So the Philistine rulers returned with the money in their hands. Lila lured Simon to sleep with his head in her lap and she called in a man to shave off the seven locks of his hair. In this way, she began to bring him down and his strength left him. Then after cutting his hair, Delilah cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. When he woke up, he thought, I will do as before and shake myself free. But he didn't realize the Lord had left him. So the Philistines captured Samson that day and gouged out his eyes. They took him to Gaza, where he was bound with bronze chains and forced to grind grain in the prison. But before long, Samson's hair began to grow back. And the Philistine rulers held a great festival offering sacrifices and praising their god Dagon. They said, our god has given us victory over our enemy Samson. When the people saw him, they praised their god saying, our god has delivered our enemy to us. The one who killed so many of us is now in our power. bring Samson so he can amuse them. So he was brought from the prison to amuse them and they had him stand between the pillars supporting the roof. So they brought Samson from the prison to amuse them and they had him stand between the pillars supporting the roof. Samson said to the young servant who was leading him by the hand, place my hands against the pillars that hold up the temple. I want to rest against them. Now the temple was completely filled with people. All the Philistine rulers were there. And there was about 3,000 men and women on the roof who was watching as Samson amused them. Then Samson prayed to the Lord. Sovereign of the Lord, remember me again, O God. Please strengthen me just one more time. With one blow, let me pay back the Philistines for the loss of my two eyes. Then Samson put his hands on the two center pillars that held up the temple. Pushing against them with both hands, he prayed, Let me die with the Philistines. 
and the temple crashed down on the Philistine rulers and all the people. So he killed more people when he died than he had during his entire lifetime. After Samson had died, his brothers and other family members went down to his body. Samson brothers took him back home and buried him between Zara and Ishtama, where his father, Mona, was buried. Samson had judged Israel for 20 years. Hello everyone, remember to like, please share, and subscribe. You guys have a blessed day.